To draw the autonomic fiber arrangements, first draw representative preganglionic neurons for both the parasympathetic and sympathetic systems. Next, in the parasympathetic arrangement, show a long axon synapse on a ganglion within its effector tissue. Cranial and sacral parasympathetic ganglia lie either very close to or at the site of their target organ. Then show a postganglionic parasympathetic fiber project deep into its target organ. Next, show a sympathetic axon synapse on a nearby peripheral ganglion. Sympathetic axons are short and synapse either in the paravertebral chain or in one of the prevertebral ganglia. Preganglionic sympathetic fibers to the adrenal gland are the exception. They travel the long distance to synapse in it. Next, show a postganglionic sympathetic fiber travel a long distance to its target organ. Its target organs include the blood vessels to the skeletal muscle and skin, the sweat glands, and hair fibers. Indicate that both the preganglionic, parasympathetic, and sympathetic neurons release acetylcholine. Then indicate that all postganglionic parasympathetic fibers release acetylcholine and that all postganglionic sympathetic fibers release norepinephrine except the postganglionic sympathetic fibers to sweat glands which release acetylcholine. The preganglionic sympathetic fibers to the adrenal gland stimulate the release of a different adrenergic neurotransmitter type, epinephrine, which assists in the fight or flight response. Neuropeptides are also released from both the pre- and postganglionic nerve terminals, a few of which we will label here. Indicate the preganglionic sympathetic fibers release enkephalin in substance P, and the postganglionic sympathetic fibers release neuropeptide Y. Then indicate the postganglionic parasympathetic fibers release vasoactive intestinal peptide. As a class, neuropeptides are large molecules with long-lasting effects, whereas neurotransmitters are small molecules with transient effects. Autonomic nerves also have afferent fibers. They comprise a large portion of the parasympathetic nerve fibers, but are only sparsely found within sympathetic fibers. Parasympathetic afferents mostly carry non-noxious stimuli. On the contrary, sympathetic afferents predominantly carry noxious information. This concludes our drawing of the autonomic fiber arrangements.